Hello guys and welcome to the second video in our series of Python desktop application development. Um, in this video we'll be looking at uh, variables and objects. Uh, we'll be running our first Python code in this video. So I know you're excited to see something pop up for the first time. So if you're if you have PyCharm up and we'll definitely need the the console for this video so what you'll need to do is go up to tools and you should see python console right here so we'll dive right in um the first thing you should know about python when coming from a different language such as c plus plus java so forth is that Python variables are um, dynamically typed. So instead of, uh, say, you want to have an integer variable, so in language such as C++, you will say int x equal 3. Now, in Python, you don't need to do that, right? Python makes you lazy. <laughs> Just kidding. But in Python, you will only need to do x equal 3. And that's now save as a variable. So it's simpler to read, um, simpler to code, since you won't need to state what type of variable um, you're using to store that object so um, let's see so we have x equal 3 and that's an integer right and if we should check what x is we can use the Python built-in function type and if we put type x it should say it's an integer right if we say for example y equal 3.33 and we ask python hey what is the type of y it should tell you it's a float right so it's dynamically type so python figure out what type of variable you're using to store that object okay so those are f int integer and float We'll, you, we can also store strings um, and it's very easy compared to other programming language. So you don't need to import anything. It's right there ready to go. So for example, let's use Z equal and let's go with the classic. Hello world. And it's stored as hello world. And you should see if we call z and ask python hey what does z equal to and it should tell you that it's hello world so those are stored um, as variables you'll notice that you can add two variables together um, it doesn't necessarily have to be the same type because as you can see, all right, let's, for example, x is an integer and y is a float. But we can go ahead and say x plus y. And you should see that the answer, it gives you a float, right? So even if it was y equal 4.0 and you say x plus y you see that it still gives you a float. So once you do any calculation with a int or a float, it will always give you a float unless you specify that you want an int. For example, I could say int x plus y, and it should give you an int. All right, so we'll go further into um, stuff like this uh, further down in the course so we won't get tied up in that right now 
you'll also know that you can't add a, you can't add an int to a string unless you turn that int integer into a string but you can definitely add two strings together so for example a equal hello and b equal world all right so let's add them or better word to use is concatenate so let's say a plus b and let's see what we get you see that we get hello world but it's one word so to counter that you can do something like a plus open quotes and plus b and you should see that it says hello world so variables and objects are pretty much straightforward in the python language we'll be going through different types of variables in the next um, couple tutorials so we look at numbers and strings and so forth go through the different type of number variables and we'll get on from there so um, what is expected of you is to go ahead read up some more on this because as I say this is a hands-on course we'll go, we won't go too detail into these parts so if you have the rapid GUI programming with Python and Qt book go ahead and read that first part on variables and objects test um, a couple of them for yourself see how it works um, that's how it's best to learn programming by the way so very hands-on so you have to keep practicing uh, getting stuff done with the language um, trying new things even if you feel it might fail try it see what happens see what errors you get for example if I try to add um, uh, X plus a you see that you get a type error since you can't add an int and a string so go ahead um, play around with it right now and then jump into the next video where we'll look at numbers and string so hope you liked it hope you um, learned something from it and hope you are excited to keep going on to start creating your own GUI application so see you in the next video